Hello there, and welcome back to Tatooine Table Flip. Today I'll be unboxing Naruto Shippuden, the board game from Yoko Board Games. Let's crack this thing open and have a look at what's inside, yeah? Okay, here we go with Naruto Shippuden, the board game. Now, this one has been out for some time, but it sort of fell off my radar until just recently when I went ahead and picked it up. But uh, see, it was pretty popular not too long ago. I think the popularity of the show has fallen off somewhat. But uh, I, I don't hear very much about it. I was a big fan of it for a while, but I don't hear very much of it anymore. But as you can see, by the artwork on the box, this goes all the way up through the uh, saga with Toby. Uh, we'll turn it over. It's full color. You know, all the characters represented. Shows the, uh, of course, Naruto on the back. Picture of what appears to be the map and some cards and the character pieces. Let's go ahead and... Open this up and have a look. Nice sturdy box. It's fairly, fairly heavy, so there must be something to it. Um, typical for games of this size and type. We got a nice, glossy, full color rule book here. It goes through the components and then through the characters. Gives you a little bit on the rules and then it goes into the rules of gameplay. And then starts breaking down the actions and the phases. And there's a big ad. <laughs> there's an FAQ in the back. That's always a fairly bad sign for a game when they include an FAQ in the rule book itself nice little punch card of tokens double-sided full color it has the linen finish if you've watched the show more than a couple of times you know that i love the linen finish on my cards and tokens so those all look really nice yeah, that's great and here we have the character pack it's probably Oh, no, it's not. Okay, great. Let's just uh, pop Naruto out here. And, oh, they're, they're very light, not flimsy. It's a little bit of a harder plastic, but uh, some nice detail on there. Might make uh, pretty decent little figures if you'd like to paint them up. If anyone out there has painted their figures, I'd love to see them. Here we have the game board not big so it doesn't take up a lot of space on your table like spots for some kind of counters up here oh, see that there we go counters there looks like uh, sections for card decks Konoha and then all the surrounding areas it's nice it also has the uh, a very light style of the linen finish. Very nice. Single sided, yep, okay. Here we have a specialty dice. It has the little digishuriken on them and uh, another, oh, that's, I don't know what kind of a symbol that is. It's some kind of a ring at any rate. And then a separate die that has, oh, it looks like the shotting gun. And uh, purple swirl, maybe that's for Toby. And then a blue window. Oh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I haven't read the rules or anything. I don't know anything about this game, so. And then we have three packets of colored plastic cubes, typical counters for uh, this style of game, it's starting to look like a Euro-style game. A couple of decks of cards. Go ahead and pop one of these open. We'll have a look. It's strange, the, uh, there's a, it's a fairly decent insert in the box here, and there's these six slots. And one of them is, or the ones here are smaller. Looks like maybe they were expecting 
expansions or something for the game. And here are some of the playing cards. Here's Toby in his two forms. Uh, let's see. Looks like, like the, the Kotsky cards. Looks like some Jutsu cards. These do not, strangely, have the linen finish. They're the slick style. But they're, uh, they're pretty sturdy. Typical playing card style. Shikamaru. I'm guessing this is a deck that... Oh, I see. The decks are keyed to their characters. So that was Shikamaru's deck. This is, I'm guessing, Rock Lee. And, yep, sure enough. Oh, this one I don't immediately recognize since it's been a while since I've seen the show. Oh, it's Sai. Not really familiar with his character. What little I was watching back then. That's it. Neat little set. I can't wait to get it to the table and play it. Well, that's it. That's an Artel the Board game. There doesn't seem to be, outside of the cards, very many moving parts to this game. So I'm really interested to have a read of the rulebook and see exactly what gameplay entails because it's starting to appear as if it might be kind of a light game which is fine by me but if you're looking for the game seems like it might be a type of a euro style but uh it might be a lighter version of a euro style game and if you're looking for something a little heavier then uh maybe this isn't for you so far looking through the theme looks like it's going to, uh, I don't really know how to, how to explain it. It feels like it might be kind of pasted on, but uh, until I get, dig into the rules and get a little more into the gameplay, I really have no idea, <laughs> of course. Um, nice little game. I can't wait to try it out. As I said earlier, I, I was a pretty big fan of the show and the manga back in the day, but uh, yeah, I haven't. I haven't really had anything to do with the IP for some time. And consequently, this game, it's been out for some time, but uh, it kind of fell fell off my radar. And so just the other day, it turned up here at headquarters and uh, for review, and well, here we are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice art on the cards and the game board. The tokens are pretty sturdy. They have that nice little linen finish. I don't know why they didn't put the linen finish on the cards. That's really odd. What an odd choice. Uh, the little cubes here, again, it looks like it's just just for tracking purposes. Uh, but the exclusive dice, they're orange and black, Naruto's colors, those are pretty slick. They are engraved, they're not printed. So the symbols won't wear off with repeated play. They'll hold up for some time. Uh, I'm going to get some sleeves and sleeve up the cards because uh, they're, a little, they're a little flimsier than I like. They're a typical play style, but still... And so they don't have the linen finish on them. They, they, if we play this game more than a few times, they'll probably start to wear. Uh, but that's it. That was Naruto shipped in the board game. Hey, uh, if you guys like the show, you have to pardon my voice. I've been ill for a little while here, and it's just starting to come back. Uh, if you like the show, go ahead and give us a like down there and subscribe to the channel. That way you get all the new episodes as they come out, both for the unboxings and the reviews. And... Uh, you can catch us on our website at BoardGamerBlues.com or you can shoot me an email at Jimmy at BoardGamerBlues. That's J-I-M-M-I-E at BoardGamerBlues. Or send me a message at Facebook at BoardGamerBlues, of course. Or shoot me a, tw a tweet. <laughs> I almost said a Twitter. A tweet on uh, at BoardGamerBlues. Let me know what you think of the show. Uh, again, I apologize. I'm a little rough after being sick for so long. But uh, let us know what you think of the show. If you have any suggestions for future unboxings or games you'd like to see reviewed on the show, or if you have suggestions for the format, anything else, even if it's just to say hi, go ahead and send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.